In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install another customized theme on Ubuntu or Ubuntu Mate. I'm using Ubuntu Mate 18.04, the long-term support. It will probably work on earlier versions and the newer versions of Ubuntu as well. Now, if you found this video on YouTube, you can click on the link below, and I will show you the step-by-step -step instructions for installing the different parts of this theme that I put together. Now if you look on at the top, this is not the wallpaper for what I have currently here. This is my uh, laptop system and on my laptop I use more of the Windows icon theme. If you can look down here for my control theme I'll be installing the Adwata Dark and I installed that on my previous video that I use currently on this machine but I deleted it so I can show you how to reinstall it. I will use the window border theme as the clear looks RE. I use the icons theme of Windows and the pointer theme of DMZ Black. And if you found the link on YouTube, as I said earlier, you can scroll down and I have illustrated pictures that will show you how to do each of those. Now I'm not going to point out the pictures here because I'm going to show you how to do this in the video. So I'm going to scroll completely to the bottom. And if you're a more advanced or intermediate user, then you can scroll to the bottom where I have the individual packages. Now I'm not the creator of any of these. Uh, I found these somewhere across the internet and I've found other icons and I modified them. So these are modified versions of the originals and I can't remember where I had them since it's been on my laptop for so long to give credit to them. So eventually if I find to where I got them at, I'll give credit at the end here. But for the sake of this video, I zip them up, put them in my Dropbox and Mediafire. So let's go ahead and download the Edwada Dark. And I'll go ahead and download each of these and then I'll show you how to uncompress them and put them in the folder that they need to be in. I'll do the first two with Dropbox, the last two with Mediafire. So let's go ahead and download the Dropbox file. So once it takes a moment to load, and the internet's kind of slow today, it's been slow for the whole week. Uh, you, once it loads, you just click the little drop down here, here. And in a few moments you'll see it says uploading, but it's actually downloading. Uh, I don't know why it says uploading. It says uploading when I upload it here, but it also, I guess because I'm logged in, there it's actually downloaded. So I can actually download the Windows Border theme, theme, which is the Clear Looks RE. I click on the drop box and I can close this one out. I'm finished. And when it completely loads, there's the folder with the icons in it. I can click the download button. As you can see here, it says uploading, which it's actually downloading. And when it finishes, I will close this tab out as well. Okay, it's very small, so I can close this one out. The icon themes, which is Windows, this will be the largest file because this actually has the icon package for the applications that you have installed on your system. Now, I've had this on there for a long time because I would find applications that was missing within this theme and added it to it. So you may have a particular program that is missing an icon. So if you click here, it will show you how to change the application icon, and I'll talk a little bit more about that after I get these installed. Let's go to Mediafire. Since I installed the other two with Dropbox, you click the Download button. And it says your download is starting. If you look down here, it's 22.2 megabytes. So it says it's approximately about seven seconds and it'll be finished with this file. And it's not a very large one, but it's the largest one of the four files that you're downloading. Now, while this is finishing up, I'll go ahead and close this one out. And I'll go to the last one, which is the pointer theme is DMZ Black. I click onto the Mediafire link again. I click the download and it's not very large and it will start as well. So now I can close this out and I now have all four of my files that I need. So I can say show in folder and here is my downloads folder. There's the four files. So I can go close each of these out. Close my downloads tab. Go back to my web page and we'll start with the clear uh, Adwata for the control theme. Now if you look here where it starts with USR for each of these and I'm going to skip this one for a moment because I'll be put installing these two skip this one go here then I'll go back to this one because this one here is going to only apply to me so that when I because it says local so that way the user here I'll have to be logged in to the themes folder in the icon folder as an administrator that way that these will be applied to anyone that has an account on the system so I first need to go into my downloads folder I'm going to locate the Adwata Dark and I'm going to uncompress that file. So I go into my downloads folder, it's Adwata Dark, it's selected since that was the first one. I right click and I choose extract here and it's extracted and it should have made a folder and there it is. So now let me open it up. We want to put this in the user share theme. So I'm going to open up my Kaha file manager. I'm going to 
click the back arrow until I see my hard drive. Click on that. I'm going to go to the user folder, the share folder, and as you look here, the last one is themes, but I'm not going to double click themes. I'm going to right click and open as administrator. So I'm going to scroll down to the themes. When I go all the way down to themes, here it is. I'm right click and choose open as administrator. I put my password in. And then when it opens, if you look up here, the themes folder is now open as a super user in the upper left hand corner, meaning that I can change this. So anything I delete or modify or change or add to anyone that's logged in with an account will have access to seeing. So now since I'm in my downloads folder, the Adwata Dark, I can drag it over into that particular folder. So I take this screen, let me minimize that one, and I can drag this one down. Actually, I don't have to, but little edge here's hard so if I click the add water dark drag it in here and there it is and I can delete the one that's in my downloads folder so I can press the delete key I no longer need that one now since I'm currently in themes that's the next one as well the user share themes for the clear looks so I can go back in my downloads folder and the clear looks which is here I can right click on it say extract here and there's the clear looks folder here so I can open back up my themes user share themes I didn't close it out now I can drag the clear looks over into this folder and I'm still logged in as the super user and so there that one is so I just now installed the clear looks and the add water dark I go back in my downloads folder and I can delete the clear looks folder and once I see that it works I can then delete the clear looks zip file and the add water zip file add water now let's go back to it since we're in the user share folder now we're in the theme so I can close the theme ones down I can go in here and close that one down. Since I'm currently in the shared folder, I need to go to the user share icons. So I scroll up until I get into the eyes. And then I'm going to have icon switches here. Right click, open as administrator, put in my administrator password. And when it opens, it opens as a super user, as you can see in the top left hand corner. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to be unzipping the DMZ black. So I go back in my downloads. Here's the DMZ black. I'm skipping Windows for a moment. Right click. And then I'm going to ex choose extract here. When it's finished, it created a folder called DMZ black. I'm now ready to go in my icons super user folder. I simply take this, drag it over here. And there it is. So I'm finished with this one now. I can delete it out. And I'm now ready to go into my local share icons so I'm ready to close out the icons folder in my user share because I'm finished with it now since I'm here in this one here in user share I'm not going to be in the user share here so I'm going to go back into my home folder which I click on my name now if you look on my web page the local starts with a dot or a period anytime you have a file or a folder starting with a period or a dot that means it's a hidden file so you don't see any dot local you have to go to view show hidden files now you can scroll down and see all the hidden files it's going to be in alphabetical order the way I have it organized so here's the local double click the next one is going to be local share and then icons so I go to local share and then icons which is here now I don't have to hit click right click open as administrator because I'm currently in my home folder of my name so I can make changes to this and it only affects me so that way I don't have to open as an administrator but I can click this to split the screen in half so let me drag this I don't need to drag it down now I'm going to uncompress the Windows zip file so I go to my windows here and I say extract here and it takes a little while longer because there's more files in it And when it's finished I locate the Windows one which is here I open up my icons folder and I will drag it down a little bit so I'll make it kind of look split screen now I can drag this Windows folder into this folder and make sure you drag it into this folder and not into another folder because it may not show up as you can see it's now into this folder the local share icons folder and here it is so now I can come over here and it actually I moved it instead of copied it this time so I can close this out I can close this out and now when I bring up my system preferences look and feel appearance when I go to click my customize button I can now look through the control theme which is here I choose the Adwata dark it's here in the list and that immediately changed to dark so I go to the Windows border theme 
go here and I go to clear looks RE so I scroll down and here's the C there's the clear looks RE the little orange button now changes to a little square that's dark that matches my theme then I'm gonna use the icon themes as windows in my last uh, video that I made I used a one that looked more like a Mac system but with a modified version and this is Windows that's been slightly modified as well so let me get into this TUVW and if they don't show up there it is at the very bottom and as you can see here that started to change and my Kaha file manager changed and in a few moments I can show you if you like to lock that in you can click this link and it will show you how to change that to where it stays locked into a Linux looking uh, Kaha or file manager icon then the pointer theme is the DMZ black so I go to my pointer then I choose DMZ black you can choose any that you have but this is the one I currently installed and it immediately changed now in my last video I didn't show you this part but if you wanted to save this theme and give it a name since I am using the Windows icon you might want to call this one as you can see in my last video I didn't name it but I'm using Adwata the the vert dark and the Cupertino uh, Cap uh, Capitino but I kind of MOJ for Mojave because that's the icon look so I could call this in like save as and I could give it any type of name and I previously had a name up here so you could put a name in that and a description I just called it Windows icon and once you hit the OK button you put the Windows icon which I have here give a little description you can choose to save your background image and notification theme to match it and when you get that finish hit save and it will add it to your list and if it don't immediately change your icons because I had this up here previously then when you go through it if you're not seeing icons change then reboot your system but as you can see here like places it now has some Windows icons for your hard drives and your thumb drives that you plug in they now look like Windows looking icons the same thing for your graphics and if you go through here they look like icons that you would see on a Windows system and if you go into your file manager which is Kaha you now have the Windows looking folder and you have a nice dark background with the Adwata dark which I installed in my last video if you watched it for my last theme like I said if you don't see these and they will change the icons in your panel the original the default theme which was on here that was just a gray icon that adds some color to your system tray now like I said if you wanted to change this though if you don't like that Windows looking icon for your Kaha file manager you can click how to change the application icons and I show you four different methods and I stuck with the Kaha file manager that doesn't mean it's going to only change the Kai you can use these same instructions for changing any other icons like if you're changing something that's on your panel you can right click and go to properties follow these instructions that you see here and you can change the icon to any icon that you have found across the internet and at the bottom I actually have a little file that you can download uh, somewhere close to the bottom that you can uncompress that I have all of these in here there it is it's my Dropbox and Mediafire I have it where you can download my list that I've been collecting over the years to where I replace some icons uh, that I prefer over the default icons or icons within packages that you download from other websites so that you can change the original default or in this case when you've got a theme if you only want to apply it to a theme you go to my method four and I have four different methods uh, this particular method is of like in my last theme that I installed it used the, the icons for the Mac I didn't like the actual finder Mac icon for the, the for the file manager so I replaced it with the little blue icon that you saw above and I show you in these steps how I did that so if you would like to change an icon and have it a fixed icon follow the instructions on this page and it will help you install a replacement icon so that you don't have to install a whole new theme you can actually change icons within a particular theme or a particular icon on a panel or in your menu so hopefully this has helped you understand how to change a theme on your system or to manually change it so that you're not on a website saying automatically install and you don't understand where it's actually going hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.